What's going on guys? My Warzone settings video helped people a lot and I felt like it would be good for me to also make a CSGO settings video. So this video is going to be about visibility and performance, having best of both worlds performance wise and visibility wise so that you can see enemies as far as possible and see them uh, in dark shadows, things like that. Micro stutters, freezes, all those things should go away if you have a fairly decent computer. We're going to try to figure out what, what truly is wrong here. If this video does not help you, please leave a comment and I will take a look at your situation. I will try to help your situation out and I'll, I'll reply within a couple hours. Real quick, guys, 96% of you aren't subscribed to the channel. You guys got a sub right now, all right? Click the button. All right, so we're here at NVIDIA Control Panel. If you're using AMD, sorry, guys, um, you're just going to have to find an AMD video uh, for this section. But this, the rest of this video will apply to you. Um, so you're going to want to go to Adjust Image Settings and Preview. Use my preference emphasizing performance, okay? So you're gonna to wanna to set this to performance, apply that. <clears throat> Manage 3D settings, you're not gonna to wanna to change this. A lot of videos want you to change stuff like this, but a lot of these settings can be changed in game and you don't wanna negatively affect visibility by turning one of these off. So I don't, I don't think you should, I don't think you should mess with these settings, but you can if you want. Uh, you could see a potential couple FPS increases, but you'll lose visibility. Just worry about this stuff from inside of the game. Configure sound. Don't worry about that. Resolution. Make sure you're at your highest hertz. And then adjust desktop color settings. You're going to want to give yourself some digital vibrance. This is going to accentuate colors in the game and make it easier to see people from farther away because their colors will stand out to the eye. You're going to hit digital vibrance. 81%. I kind of like I kind of like 80%. This is my kind of like where I like to be. You got a reference image over here if you want to on the right side if you want to look at it. So go to adjust desk, adjust desktop size and position. If you're using a lower resolution and you stretch it, you're going to want to have performance scaling on GPU. Make sure that's set to GPU. Override the scaling um, mode set by games and programs. Check it on that as well. And make sure your refresh rate is as high as possible. If you have G-Sync, you're going to want to enable G-Sync. And other than that, you're going to want to touch nothing else in here. You want to close this out. Uh, if you want to restart your computer, you don't really need to for this one. All right, another real quick thing that you should check before doing anything is you should check how much RAM you have. So take a look at, you know, if you got a pre-built computer, look at how much RAM it's got. If you built your computer, figure out how much RAM you got. If you got eight gigabytes of RAM or less, you're gonna wanna upgrade that, okay? As you can see here, I got 24 gigabytes. You're gonna wanna upgrade RAM. You're, you're not going to want to have 8 gigabytes of RAM nowadays. It's just can't multitask on the computer. Your game's going to freeze. It's going to stutter. Not just in Counter-Strike. In every single game that you play, you're going to have trouble if you have 8 gigabytes of RAM. Just get another stick. You'll be perfectly fine, and there'll be no more problems going forward with that. A lot of people change their settings, do all these things, and nothing ever works, and they complain about it, but they're not willing to go out to Best Buy and buy a $50, $50 worth of RAM, which is going to fix all their problems um, instead of jumping through hoops trying to figure it out. It could be just that simple. If you're having freezes, stutters, FPS drops, all that stuff, micro stutters, if you're trying to stream and you can't do both at the same time, it could be a RAM issue. You need to upgrade your RAM, okay? All right, so if you go to your Steam library here, you right click on Counter-Strike Global Offensive and you will see properties, click that, set launch options, paste this, I'll put it in the description. It, tick rate 128, we'll make sure your offline servers are on 128 tick. Plus FPS underscore max zero will maybe possibly increase FPS. Negative no vid just gets rid of the video at the beginning and negative no joy could possibly clear up RAM. So click OK, close that. Those aren't crazy important, but you could do those. All right guys, so for monitor settings, I have the BenQ Zowie XL LCD, but it's a 240 Hertz monitor. If you don't have this monitor, you might not have all these settings, but I will show you them. If you have this monitor, they'll apply to you. A lot of these settings will apply to you though. So you should watch this part. So if you open up your monitor settings here, 
game settings. If you have a black equalizer, you can turn this on. Only advanced monitors are going to have it. If you turn this on, it's going to reduce shadows and it's going to be able to see when you're in a, you're going to be able to see people in the dark better. I I I like to have it a little bit lower because it, it bothers me when everything is too bright. So I, I like to have it a little lower, but I do keep it on. So color vibrance, you're going to want this all the way up. A low blue light, you're going to want this off because this hurts your eyes. So brightness, that's up to you. Contrast, you might want to you might want to change the contrast a little bit higher than 50. Uh, sharpness, you're going to want this as high as possible. So this is the most important one right here. Most monitors have it. Uh, you're going to want to turn your sharpness up on your monitor. It, this will greatly improve the sharpness of your game. Trust me on this. Change your sharpness up. You're going to thank me later. Gamma, don't matter. Color temperature, bluish. AMA, high. Dynamic contrast, leave this off. And then that's it. Your, your monitor settings are good to go. Alright guys, let's get right into the video settings here. Computer monitor, color mode, aspect ratio, widescreen, resolution, 1920 by 1080 but you can do whatever resolution you want. This will be the best for visibility. Display mode, full screen. Laptop power savings, disabled. Global shadow quality, low. Model texture detail, low. Texture streaming, enabled. Effect detail, low. Shader detail, high. Boost player contrast enabled. If this causes FPF problems, turn it off, but this is good for visibility. Multi-core rendering enabled. Multi-sampling anti-aliasing mode. You should put this on if you can handle it. If your computer cannot handle it, turn it off. But this will create better visibility and reduce some of the sharp, jagged edges. But you should keep FXAA anti-aliasing off because this will create sharper outlines around characters which will make it easier to hit them. So this should be disabled but this could possibly be enabled if you if you want it on to reduce some of the super super harsh edges. Texture filtering mode by linear, wait for vertical sync disabled, motion blur disabled, triple monitor mode disabled. Other than that guys go to game Scroll down, show team positions in HUD, show location and equipment. This will make it so you can see your teammates through the walls and see what utility they have. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I really hope this helped you out. If it didn't help you out, please leave a comment and then put your specs in there, and I'll try to help as best as I can. Don't forget to subscribe, like. Appreciate it, guys. Catch you later.